character of a person.
a pleasure to have you with us today, Father. Please accept a sapling as a token of our love and a warm welcome. I also welcome our guest of honor, Father Melvin Dikuna, the Vice Provincial of Karnataka, Goa Province, and the Parish Priest of St. Joseph's Church. Please accept the sapling as a token of our love. With immense pleasure, I welcome our school manager, Father Lawrence Dikuna. Father Pavan Saldana and Father Nelson Cardoza. Our guest priest, Father Walter de Souza. Father Ashwin de Souza. Deacon Nikesh D'Souza, kindly accept our warm welcome. We also welcome our coaches from Ani Sports Academy and our dear teachers. With the spirit of sportsmanship set so high and all our students so full of excitement to take home the sports medals. I warmly welcome all the winners of the various sports events held and wish all the best to the students who will be playing their finals today. Once again, a warm welcome to all. Have a fabulous day. With themselves to be a part in various sports events without cheating or without any form of discrimination. Now I invite the house captains of all four houses along with their teams to raise their right hand up for the oath. To take the oath, I now would like to invite our sports captain, Gia Reddy, to lead the teams in taking the oath. Be the students of Mount Carmel School, school. promise that, promise that we, shall take part we shall take part in the finale of the sports day, in the of the sports day. As, play players. as fair players, respecting and abiding by the rules, and by the rules. that govern the events, that govern the events. In, the true spirit of sportsmanship. in the true spirit of sportsmanship, for the glory of sport. For the glory of sport. We, shall put forth we shall put forth our greatest efforts, our greatest efforts to, achieve the best to achieve the best results in the games, in the games for, the honor for the honor of our class, of our class and our respective house. And our respective house. Now it's time to light the Olympic flame of the torch.
With all the guys. One, two, three, four. Saudara Pada Melvin, Saudara Pada Lawrence, Saudara Pada Pavan, Nelson, Saudara Pada, respected teachers, Drishti, Drishti was the head girl, Drishti, head girl, head boy, Pavan, Jia, the captains, house captains, all the winners, dear students and parents. I feel genuinely privileged and extremely elated to witness these moments along with these great personalities on stage with smiling faces seated in front or around. First of all, I thank Reverend Father Pavan and the entire team for giving me this opportunity and wholeheartedly congratulate all of you on this occasion of the prize distribution. Hearty congratulations to all of you. A louder clap for everyone. I would like also to, ad to address the band, members of the band, the leaders of the band, and tra trainers, and all teachers who took care of for the wonderful or mesmerizing band display. Really appreciate. Congratulations to the band, school band, Mount Carmel School Band. I'm really all of them to stand here after witnessing the band. The march past of the houses, I really appreciate the house captains and all the members of the four houses for the wonderful discipline they displayed and the beautiful, the, the order and the discipline and the synchrony and harmonious way of performing your march past.
Congratulations to all of you. For presenting these moments of such a perfect beauty, harmony and symphony, there is a lot of hard work behind it under the leadership of Father Pavan and the teachers, all of you, really you deserve uh, sincere appreciation and gratitude. I would like to, all of you to, uh, to request once again to give a big clap for the entire team who have worked behind. Especially for the physical education teachers and the coordinators of the sports day. I, I would like to, on this occasion, present before you a small anecdote from a Christian saint's life. A saint called as Dominic Savio. When he was 13 years old, how many years old? 13 or 30? 13. How many of you are 13 here? Good, as old, as old as you are now, he is in charge, his principal, like Father Pavan, he had a father, Father Don Bosco. He wanted to uh, make Dominic learn a page from a book. And when he invited or called Dominic to give that page, all of the students were playing, enjoyed and enjoying and immersed themselves in play playing. But then, at that moment, the principal or the, or the father, Father Don Bosco, gave him a passage and said, now sports activities are going on, so I give you this, you can learn it and come to me tomorrow. Now you go and play, but I want you to come to me tomorrow after learning this page. And then uh, he went on his way, Dominic Savio went on his way. After a few minutes, maybe after an hour or so, Dominic Savio came running to Don Bosco, saying, I have already learned. Then uh, Don Bosco asked, why didn't you go for games? Then he said, you have given me a duty and I wanted to finish that and go for the games. And then he agreed, okay, you go, go ahead and let me hear. Dominic perfectly recited or repeated by heart the whole page. Don Bosco was surprised. And then he thought, let me then test him again. Did you understand what you have learned? Then Dominic Savio continued to explain perfectly what was there in that page. And so Don Bosco was really so, so much happy with uh, Dominic Savio. He congratulated and sent him off to play. And when Dominic Savio went to play, he played with his whole heart and he enjoyed the games and made others enjoy the game. I hope you understand what this anecdote tells you. Whether in sports or in studies or in personal life, we must examine and find out what is my priority. Where does my priorities lie? So today as you enjoy and relish these moments of victory, I'm really glad to appreciate you and enjoy with you. And at the same time to remind you to always be reminded of your priorities. And the secret of success as given by Dominic Savio about whom I spoke is this, to do ordinary things of every day with extraordinary zeal. What is that? To do ordinary things every day with extraordinary zeal. Can you repeat? To do ordinary things every day with extraordinary zeal. So for that, just recollect, recollect about your sports events. Were you zealous? Did you have zeal? Yes, certainly you had 
good amount of zeal in participating in the sports activities. That's why you were able to win prizes. But in fact, that was an extraordinary event or uh, an occasion. Apply the same zeal to your everyday activities. Maybe homework, which is not that very much interesting for students. But if you are able to do those ordinary things of daily life with extraordinary zeal, there is no one who can stop you from being successful and satisfied in your life. So once again, I want you to repeat. To do ordinary things every day with extraordinary zeal. So two words are very important. Ordinary things and extraordinary zeal. Will you all remember this? Yes. So once again, I appreciate and congratulate the principal, all the teachers, head boy, head girl, the house leaders, the trainers, physical education teachers, all the non-teaching staff for bringing up this institution in a such a noble way. And I would like to take this opportunity to thank all these inspiring personalities who welcome us myself and other fathers and anyone comes from Santom with a very, very endearing, sincere smile and encouraging words. And I'm very sure you are enjoying the same every day in this school. And that is the secret of the success of Mount Carmel. And I would also challenge you to learn on, your, on a personal way, in a secular way, the story of Mount Carmel, whichever is is lived through these lives, through these personalities, and also if you are interested through the literature which is available. So once again, I congratulate the entire Mount Carmel for this beautiful day, for this beautiful occasion of, of bringing out the best from the students. Students, take it as a challenge. This is only a beginning. Keep bringing out the best every day, not only on sports day, not only on price distribution day, but every day by doing ordinary things with extraordinary zeal. Once again, congratulations to all of you. I want all of you to give once again a thunderous clap for yourself. Thank you very much. Thank you, Father, for those inspiring words. Hard work is a two-way street. You can pack exactly what you have put in. Now we go to the finals. We will begin with the finals of the sports events that were held in the past few days, starting with the throwball match of the boys, requesting the final teams to move on to the throwball court. To the primary section. The first category is the book balance rings of standard one boys. हर प्लेयर के लिए सबसे जरूरी होते हैं तीन एस स्पीड स्टेमिना स्ट्रेंथ एक में भी कमी रहेगी तो प्लेयर में कमी रहेगी क्या क्या स्पीड स्टेमिना स्ट्रेंथ शाबाश सागर के देख तो भिड़ के देख फिर खाबों पे तो मिट के देख सागर के देख तो भिड़ के देख फिर खाबों पे तो मिट के देख मैदान भी होगा तेरा तू हक से मार लगा मिट्टी माथे लगा मिट्टी माथे लगा मिट्टी माथे और ले छलांग 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 जो हाँ
हाथों पर वो बस लकीर है लिखी है जो हाथों पर वो बस लकीर है लिखनी आसमानों पर अपनी तकदीर है पूछा है उसने तुझसे साया न कर ये मौका छीन ले अपनी किस्मत है किसने तुझको रोका अपनी कमजोरियों की हर हद the winners of the sports events held for the pre primary section now i request our chief guest father jay prasad joseph to kindly come and do the honors beginning with nursery section the first is hop race boys first place Pandey Navesh, Vasoya Krishan, third place Jadhav Riyansh. Yashika, 
Second is Fernandez, Naila. Third is Gandavas, Nirvi. Of the senior Saint KG section, shuttle run race boys. Standing first is Jala Kriyal. Second is Bhuge Vedant. Third is Mukadam Ibrahim. Thank you. 
Oh, <laughs> 